and welcome back for another tasty treat. So if you follow me on either Twitter or Instagram, then you would have had like a tiny sneak peek about what I will be showing you how to bake today. And that is because I did a poll to find out whether or not you wanted me to put lemon curd or a mixed berry compote in the middle of my frozen meringue roulade. Now, the votes have come in and it was very, very, very close call, but we will be doing a frozen berry meringue roulade today. And trust me, this dessert, it is so easy that you're gonna be rolling it out for every dinner party or any excuse to have a dessert, honestly. And with the weather how it's been, oh, losing my balance. With the weather how it's been recently, with the sun beaming down and it's so hot, it's just the perfect thing to finish off your meal or even just to have as like a nice treat. Because it's frozen and it's so sweet and delicious. Anyway, I'm gonna stop going on about it now. But also, because the votes were so tight, I will do a recipe in a few weeks time or whenever I feel like it <laughs> for the lemon curd so the people that voted for lemon curd don't miss out because trust me that's a good tasty one as well let's get started as you can see here I've got my wonderful mixer I dug it out of the storage cupboard that it was in and they've given it a good old clean because you need to make sure your bowl is clean so it doesn't affect the egg whites. And you need to get your oven preheated to 150 degrees. In your mixing bowl, you're going to want seven egg whites. To do that, you just crack your egg gently, take off the top, let the egg white dribble into your bowl and then gently we're going to take the yolk in between our fingers and let the white seep through the space in between your fingers and then we're just going to put the egg yolk in a mug put that to the side you might want to use that for something else I don't know what <laughs> but you might want it so like I said, you have to do this with seven eggs. Do be careful, do not let the egg shell crack your egg yolk, because if you get any egg yolk in this mixture, you're gonna have to start again. We literally only want the sticky white stuff. Seven egg whites in, power on. Gonna put my protective guard over my bowl so I don't have any accidents with egg whites flying everywhere. If it would go on. There we go. Then we're going to turn this on. I'm going to whisk the eggs until they form a soft. When the meringue is done, you should be able to pop it straight over your head and it won't fall out. That's how you know when your meringue is done. Now your meringue is ready. We're just gonna grab ourselves one of these rubber spatulas or a marise as they're called. 
can just make sure everything is fully incorporated into a meringue. And we're going to go ahead and grab a baking tray and some baking parchment or baking paper, whatever you want to call it. Grab a strip. I'm just going to get a spoon and wipe some of my meringue on my tray so that the baking paper doesn't go everywhere and slide off. So, take the baking, baking paper and you stick this to your tray like so. And then we're going to go ahead and slap on our meringue. So I've slapped my meringue on the tray and I've cut away some of the excess greaseproof paper because we don't need it flapping around in the oven. And you take your meringue and you're gently going to flatten the meringue and evenly spread it all over the tray. Make sure it's even, because otherwise you won't get a decent roll on it later. Just like that. And then we're going to stick this piece of beauty in the oven at 150 degrees for 45 minutes. While our meringue is baking in the oven, we're going to move on to our mixed berry compote that's going to go in the middle of our roulotte. So grab yourself a saucepan, and 250 grams of frozen or fresh mixed berries. Hmm. And then to our frozen mixed berries, we're going to add 100 grams of caster sugar. Then we're just gonna add a splash of water. Turn on the heat, oh, that's the wrong one. I'm still getting used to this cooker. So, turn on the heat. Give it a bit of a shake so the sugar starts to dissolve. And we're basically just gonna leave this here to simmer and thicken up gently over time. You will want to come back and stir this occasionally just to make sure it doesn't stick to the pan or burn. Um, but honestly, for now, you can just leave it until it's nice and thick. After about 10 minutes of simmering, my mixed berry compote is deliciously thick and all the berries have mushed in together and they've made this absolutely delicious, rich, sweet and just so tasty compote. That's, yeah, <laughs> so that's that done. We're gonna put that to the side and let it cool down completely. And we're going to grab 500 milliliters of fresh double cream and two tablespoons of icing sugar. And we're going to whip some cream until it's nice and thick. I like to do this by hand. You can do it in a machine, that's not a problem. I just get the satisfaction of a job well done once I whip the cream by hand. And would you look at that? Less than five minutes later, we have a bowl of deliciously thick whipped cream. Right. So our mixed berry compote is done. Our freshly whipped cream is done. 45 minutes has been and gone. It's time to get the meringue out of the oven. I'm just gonna do gently. And I forgot to mention, while making this, you do not at any point want to open the oven on your meringue because it won't rise and look as gorgeous as this does. So, I've taken it out of the oven and I'm just gonna leave it on the side now, just to cool down briefly, and then I will remove it from the baking tray and I will get a fresh piece of baking paper, which I will lay out on the counter 
and then I will flip the meringue and remove the baking paper that it's on now and place it onto the new baking paper and then we'll get to filling and rolling our roulard. A lot of hand movements there, I'm not quite sure what that is, but you'll see in a moment. As you can see, I've taken my meringue off of the baking tray and I've got myself some new baking paper. So what I'm gently going to do, well, what I've already done is I've started to peel away the baking paper from the sides of the meringue to make it easier for me to remove. So I'm just gently I'm going to take my meringue over here and I'm going to turn it upside down onto my fresh sheet of baking paper and then even more gently I'm just going to peel away this grease proof paper and it's best to do this while it's still just a little bit warm because that way the sugar won't completely stick to the grease proof like this and then you'll end up with loads of holes and stuff everywhere but as you can see that went quite smoothly and now we're ready to put our filling in okay again go ahead and grab your rubber spatula or a wooden spoon and we're going to start with our whipped cream take your spatula dollop of whipped cream slap it on there make sure when you're doing this you leave a gap about that big to allow room for rolling so just get the whipped cream slap it on there nice and thick and then like we did with meringue i'm going to gently spread it all over this beautiful piece of work leaving the gap of course and obviously making sure it's nice and even then we're going to go ahead and grab our cool mixed berry compote and we're just going to slap that in there as well and we're going to mix it I don't want any waste, so I'm scraping it off the wooden spoon. We're going to mix that all over our cream. So this is what your roulade should look like before it's rolled. You've left a gap here, and the cream starts here with the mixed berry compote there. And we're going to roll it from this end to this end. when the fun begins. Okay, so I'm going to have my back to you, but this is the only way I can show you how to do this. So you lift the grease proof paper gently and start to turn your meringue gently, like so. And you're just going to keep doing it, keep pushing it, but at the same time, make sure you keep tucking the meringue inwards okay i'm just going to get on with this okay just gently take another roll squish that meringue inwards see should be looking like this i'm going to keep going There we go. We have our mixed berry roulade. And I'm gonna stick this in the freezer now until it's completely frozen. But before I've done that, I've made sure I've placed the meringue fold side down. Now I'm gonna stick it in the freezer until it's completely frozen. And we'll come back, I'll take a slice, and show you what it looks like. 
I thought I would just get a little shot of it going in the freezer. There we go. Goodbye. So there you have it. That's this episode of Leah Tortilla. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for interacting on my social media accounts. And like I said, if you would like to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, or all three, the links will be in the description below, along with the ingredients for this recipe. And if you could give this video a like, a share, you could even leave me a comment because you know what I'm gonna say. I love to hear what you have to say. And then if you really like what I do, then you could always subscribe to my channel for more recipes next week. I'll see you later. Bye guys. Ooh.